Hey guys, it's Greg Kalishas with Gulf Coast Fish and Homes Realty. We're talking about the revenue model from running an Airbnb in Hudson, Florida and Hernando Beach, Florida, and the differences between the two towns. Okay, number one, let's talk about the basics of what an Airbnb is. The basic of an Airbnb is the fact that you rent your house by the night instead of by the month. And the revenue model generally means that you will get double to triple the amount of revenue from your investment property than you would if you did long-term rentals. It's not as easy as it seems though. You need to register with these sites. You need to have a cleaning service if you don't live in the area. There is some management headaches, but from my friends who run Airbnbs on a regular basis, the occupancy rate for Hudson and Hernando Beach is right about 85 to 90%. And depending on where you are, what the house is, they're getting rents from $150 a night to $400 a night. Each individual property varies. The basic part that varies is how many humans can you sleep in that house and how nice the house is. Is it direct access or indirect? Does it have a pool? Doesn't it have a pool? All of these factors change the amount you can charge for rents. You need to have a cleaning service that cleans it every day. You need to decide if you're gonna to go to Verbo or use Airbnb. Using both is problematic. The biggest change coming for Pasco County homeowners that are thinking about doing Airbnbs is the fact that Pasco County is getting ready to change the rules from one week rentals to one month rentals. That's gonna essentially end Airbnbs in Hudson, in Pasco County. In Hernando County, where Hernando Beach is, there is no restrictions. You can rent your house by the night, which really increases the number of rental nights you can have throughout the year. Right now, why, why is Hernando Beach pro Airbnb? It's pro Airbnb because there are no major resorts, no major hotels in Hernando Beach or in Bayport. So for Hernando County to get hotel room rentals tax, it has to come from Airbnbs. That's why I do not think Hernando County is gonna reduce or change the Airbnb rules anytime soon. This is a big complicated subject. It can be very profitable, but it's got some bells and whistles. If you're looking at the economy and you're saying, is my money safe in the stock market? Should I buy bonds? Should I buy real estate? Should I do an Airbnb? Give me a call at 813-394-4356. It's a very complicated topic. We're gonna to need to have a long discussion about it, but I'm here to help you if that's an investment opportunity you're thinking about doing. Give me a call at 813-394-4356. Have a great day.